Welcome back, Seth Ling here. I've got kind of a cool contraption for you today. This is a moving walkway. It's actually a moving walkway. It'll move you along if you just stand still. Uh, you can go from one to the next. It'll even, if you try and walk against it, it'll push you back. As you notice, I'm having a hard time making any progress here. It'll push you forward if you, uh, if you move forward. Um, it's a moving walkway. Uh, of course, I have a lot of soul sand here, which is not great. Uh, there's also a, kind of a big bug with this, where if you stand, if you're standing like halfway on, it's fine. But but if you if you're standing all the way on the uh, on the little conveyor belt here, you will actually fall through. So until they fix that bug, it's kind of a kind of a serious issue with this thing. But it's still kind of a cool cool little uh, trick you can do. The reason it works is because soul sand is actually a sixteenth of a meter shorter than uh, regular blocks, so there's like a little lip that catches you when these uh, when these um, sandstone blocks come through. So that's what pushes you along, and, and that's why when you try and walk against the current, it still catches you and everything. So kind of neat. Um, I have a I have another version of it over here. Uh, you kind of have to do some tricks to get it started because it relies on this little clock here. So like. Um, to get the clock started, I, I have to do something like this, just to get a one tick pulse going. Oops. Um, yeah, just to get a one tick pulse going, and then even still, it, sometimes the sometimes the blocks won't move right. But um, it's basically just uh, every four ticks, the this piston goes and this piston goes. The, the, the ones pushing horizontally, and then. Um, a, a two tick offset from that, uh, the vertical pistons go. There's a regular piston here and a, and a sticky piston here. And so that's how the, the tape cycles. Um, and yeah, you just have a cycling tape and you have to surround it with soul sand. Uh, the reason you have to surround it with soul sand is that uh, you need to be sunk in that sixteenth of a meter or the lip won't catch you. You'll just, uh, you, won't, you won't sink down far enough for the lip on the sandstone. But um, yeah, kind of a neat contraption. So thanks for watching.